Welcome. This is a video about the dot for schedule made by Preemptive. And the main reason I have done this video is to so that these guys there can watch my steps. Maybe I made something wrong because finally there is no protection in the final step. Well, one reason more I almost have forgotten is um, we had several email conversations about this issue. Then it comes to the point to make that video. Maybe they have watched it, I don't know. The last answer I've got from them is uh, they might help me. They might help me to buy, yeah, how to buy that tool. That's where they like to help me. Well, that's, uh, that's a good answer. So I don't want to comment that. So how that works here, let's have a look. This is what I have done to uh, protect an WinForm Studio.net c -sharp project. Let's have a look how that is then. Here, this is a protection one, and to see how well that is protected, I have here the net reflector. Uh, I'm choosing that file now, which is here in this folder. Yeah, it's the same folder as we have here. So just open, <coughs> then it's here in the explorer of the net reflector and with a left with right click then I can uh, export the source code just choose the folder document and this is a folder I have made here for the net reflector so just an OK start so it's done I close it and uh, the folder of what the net reflector has taken out is here. So one look at any class here. So this is how it looks and this is good. I would even pay for that if I would have it finally like that. But for now, of course, it's here in this folder. But for long it's here, I can't use it, it's useless. So the way I understand it is to copy that in the original project, which is here. So I'm going to do that now. I replace that so I can finally rebuild the setup project to install it, to have it on my web page and anyone who likes to download the trial version can download it, use it and the code will be protected. And that's a step where something is wrong, I guess, or better to say I'm pretty sure there is something wrong here because it's easy to say uh, rebuild the setup means it takes of course the classes here, the original ones. Otherwise, any changings we have done here wouldn't be in the setup project. So something is wrong here. Just replace the X. But I have no idea what it is, what is to do. And that's what I wanted to hear from these guys. So I have already installed it. And then it is here. This is the axle which I expect is also protected, of course. Let's have a look. So I take that out, close this assembly, and take this new one in, which we have seen as here in this folder. Where is it there? So there it goes. And now we will see the code is so well as it was written. Just delete the last one here. So it's done. And now Take the same class, I choose the same class as before, and let's have a look how this looks now. <clears throat> uh, 
There it is. So this is how it looks. So it's done. And now I take the same class. I choose the same class as before. And let's have a look how this looks now. <coughs> There it is. So this is how it looks. There is, there's, this is almost clear code. Yeah, it's useless.